Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatry course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 25 of the section A. So it is a problem of analysis. Let us have a look. So in this problem you have to find out the sum of the given series. So this is your series and we have to find out the sum for this series. So firstly what I will do I will firstly write what is needed for this problem all right so have a look on this formula that you have learned I think in your class 12th if you are a CBSA student uh, so it will be 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y is equal to 10 inverse x minus y over 1 plus x y so this is the formula from inverse trigonometric so inverse trigonometry is going to help us in this problem so in this problem see if I write 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 what will happen you will get 10 inverse c n plus 1 minus n minus 1 so you will get 2 on the denominator if you will do you will get uh, if you will place x y if you will multiply these two so you will get uh, n square are you getting my point so this 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 will get you 10 inverse 2 by n square so i am i will use this thing in this summation so let s be the sum of this summation 10 inverse 2 by n square so i will write this now 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 now let us quickly write it all right so we have n moving from 1 to infinity let us write write few terms so first term that you will get will be 10 inverse c if you will place n is equal to 1 you will get 10 inverse 2 minus 10 inverse 0 so now after this what will happen after this you will get 10 inverse 3 minus 10 inverse 1 after this what will happen 10 inverse 4 minus 10 inverse uh, if you are placing 3 so you will get 2 then I will write few more terms in order to make everything clear all right you will get 10 inverse 3 and after this you will get 10 inverse 5 6 so 10 inverse 6 minus 10 inverse 4 all right let us write the last term also 10 inverse 7 minus 10 inverse uh, you will get 6 on placing 6 so 5 you will get so let us we will write the nth term later on all right so we are not right now we are not evaluating everything in this summation we are just evaluating sum of n terms so our n is moving from 1 to n 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse of n minus 1 so we are not going from 1 to infinity all right we are going from 1 to n now let us see this first term c is cancelled by the third term that is written over here so this will be cancelled by this now see 10 inverse 3 will be cancelled by a term after this that means in order to cancel a term we have to leave one step we are leaving this complete step and we are moving here then we are getting cancelled similar thing happens with 10 inverse 4 also 10 inverse 4 will be cancelled by after leaving one term so you will get 10 inverse minus uh, this thing now see uh, 10 inverse 0 will never get cancelled because you don't have any other term like this so 10 inverse 0 will stay as it is 10 inverse 1 will also stay as it is now see 10 inverse 2 is already uh, cancelled similarly 10 inverse 3 is already cancelled 10 inverse 5 will be cancelled by leaving one term so everything will be cancelled like this and in the nth term you have 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 all right now this 10 inverse n minus 1 will be cancelled by some previous term which will be written over here but I want to write a term which is 10 inverse n 
minus 10 inverse n minus 2 this will also come why this will come because you know that in every term we have a difference of 2 n plus 1 minus n minus 1 will be the difference of 2 so this term will also be there now in order to cancel this term which is 10 inverse n minus 10 inverse n minus 2 you need in order to cancel this term you need a term which is written over here are you getting my point or not so in order to cancel this term you need a term which is written over here so because we are finding out sum up to n only there is no term which is written over here so this will will not cancelled this will be cancelled by the term which is previously written here so finally if you will calculate sum up to n then you will get minus 10 inverse of 0 minus 10 inverse of 1 and you have plus 10 inverse of n plus 10 inverse of n plus 1 got it now what we want we want s what is s Th this limit n goes to infinity this is your s so just tend your n towards infinity this will be infinity this will be infinity because infinity plus 1 will be infinity so you will get pi by 2 from here pi by 2 from here minus pi by 4 from here 10 inverse 0 is 0 you know that so pi by 2 plus pi by 2 minus pi by 4 will get you 3 pi by 4 getting my point so this is how you can actually solve this problem it means that uh, it means that uh, that third answer is correct and all the remaining options are false for this problem so this is how you can actually solve this problem all right if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you